Hello everybody, this is Video Boy, and welcome to this LibGDX tutorial. So today we're, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install the software and all the different things you need so that you can get your games running on an actual website. So we're going to use the space shooter that we made in the tutorial series. Uh, so if you haven't seen that series, basically we're just creating a shooter from scratch uh, using LibGDX. And uh, today I'll show you guys how to install it, uh, create a web version of it that can actually be hosted on a website. Okay, so there's two main things that we're going to need. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Eclipse. Um, but it'll the steps for doing it on other IDEs aren't going to be that different. Um, so either way, you're going to need some sort of uh, Google plugin so that you can actually convert the project into a GWT project and you're going to need some sort of web hosting program to test it on locally. You can use like a, a Linux server with a LAMP installed and install that way, but if you're testing, you kind of want it on a local computer, so it's a lot easier and also uh, not available for the rest of the world. So um, one way to do this on Windows is XAMP. I believe it supports other operating systems. Uh, so if you're on Mac, XAMP is probably a good solution for you as well. But if you're on Linux, you can use it, it seems, but uh, you're probably better off using something like LAMP. Uh, LAMP is, stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and uh, PHP. So basically, it's just a web hosting server, and it's absolutely necessary to do this for GWT apps. Uh, you can't just open up an index, index.html file uh, and expect it to run. Uh, in your web browser, you need some something that hosts it. Uh, so that's why we need XAMP or something like that. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys how to install the uh, Google plugin in Eclipse. So um, here, I'll just backtrack a little bit. So basically, just search Google GWT Ecl Eclipse plugin, and then click Quick Start, and then this is the link to this page. Basically, just take the latest one. Uh, don't bother with the versions of Eclipse. I actually uh, kind of messed up here. I used this one because we're using Eclipse Mars, but they abandoned the old repository, so just use the latest one. Okay, and then go back into Eclipse, do help, and do install new software. And then just paste the link in here, and it's going to load up a couple of options. Uh, so as you can see, the only ones I currently have installed are the developer tools. Uh, so I already have it installed in Eclipse, and basically you just want to install everything in the developer tools folder. Don't worry about this other stuff. You can use it, but it's not really necessary. So just check mark that, and then click next, next, and install. It's going to take a little bit of time. Just let it do its thing, and then you're probably going to have to restart Eclipse, and then just come back here. So now we're going to install XAMP. Uh, so I already have it installed, but I'll walk you guys through it. So just download the uh, executable. It's kind of a big file. Uh, but basically just run it and install XAMP. So I'm not going to go too much uh, through how to install these different softwares and everything because, well, for one, I already have them installed. And two, not everybody is, has Windows or not everybody uses Eclipse. Um, so you guys can probably figure that stuff out. It's not very hard. Uh, but basically for XAMP, you're going to want to have at least the Apache server. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So this is the control panel. So I use MySQL right now, but it's not necessary. All you need is the Apache module. Make sure it's installed and it's running. And also take note of the port number. The first one is the one that we're interested in. Um, so yeah. Also, uh, you're going to need to go into your XAMP folder or um, in your uh, your web hosting folder. So if you're running on XAMP, like for this tutorial, it's in the HT docs, and then this is where you're going to host uh, the game. And if you're running on Linux or something with LAMP or some other uh, hosting thing, it's going to be uh, at the location in the var folder, like from the root of your hard drive. So var, www, and then HTML, and then within there, uh, that's where all your files are hosted. Uh, so just so you guys know, so I'm going to keep this open. 
this is not really necessary anymore. We know it's port 80. It might be 81 for you guys if you have something like Skype installed and you haven't configured it. Uh, so just take note of that. Alright, so uh, let's actually go into the code now. And if you go in here and you see your HTML project and you right click on it, and you have the Google plugin installed, you're going to see GW compile. And it's like, oh, great. Let's run that. And then if you run it, uh, it's going to ask you to find your war directory. Uh, with libgdx, usually it finds it by itself. But you want to go into your HTML project folder and then in war. So make sure it's selected and click OK. But we're going to run into an error, and I'll show you guys how to fix that. Uh, so if you copied the code exactly like uh, like in the tutorial series, you're going to run into this error, almost guaranteed. Um, so it's saying that it wasn't able to find uh, the HTML launcher. So to fix that, you have to go into the HTML project and source. And then we go into GWT definition. Um, actually, no, sorry, I think it's in core. Yes, that's it. Okay, so you want to go into your core project and then the game.gwt.xml. And then in here, you want to change it so that the package is the same as the package for your code. So we changed the package names during the tutorial series. so it causes little complication but it's very easy so you just do uh, net.holobit.spacegame that's what we called it for well, that's what I called it you guys probably called it something else just make sure it's the same name and there's also one last thing we're going to need to change uh, go back to your HTML uh, project and then you're gonna have your HTML launcher so in here you can um, you pass a configuration and in the configuration you also pass the width and height of the screen so this way it's going to be a landscape which we don't want since our space game is uh, running in portrait mode so we're going to just pass the width and height from our space game in here if you didn't follow this tutorial series and you have your own game or something um, some of these steps might not be very necessary but it's always good to know how to change the width and height in the actual HTML uh, project and also uh, it's good if you have a bug like this where you can't find the uh, the package and we should be able to run it now so we'll just go here and GWT compile there's also this super dev mode I might do a tutorial on that later uh, it's pretty interesting but uh, for this video we'll just keep it simple and make sure your war folder is selected and click OK so I'm going to uh, speed up through this part of the video because it takes quite a bit of time um, and I'll be back. Alright, looks like it's done. So you can tell it's done if it says uh, link succeeded, compilation succeeded and also there's a red square here if it's still running so that you can cancel the operation. But if it's done, the red square goes away because it's done so you don't need to cancel it anymore. Um, so you don't really have to look through all this unless there's uh, a bug or something. It'll tell you if it crashed, if there's an error. And then you look through and then you try to find the bug. Uh, that's probably the most complicated part with GWT is uh, getting bugs and having to fix them. I've had a lot of issues with that with Archipelago. Um, but uh, yeah, but for, for this project it was fairly simple and it wasn't very complicated. So. Now we have it compiled, so let's actually put it in our um, our folder here. So just go into your htdocs folder, or whatever you called it, and let's create a new folder. Let's call it Space Game. All right, and now go into your HTML project, then open up the web app folder, and then just select all of it and copy it into make sure you copy it so you can either right click and do copy or control C uh, I usually just hold control and then drag it over okay so make sure you do web app first then you go into the war folder and then copy it over and then replace the files that need to be replaced 
So now whenever you recompile the app and you make changes, you don't need to copy the web app anymore. Just copy the war onto here and then replace the files that need to be replaced. So you don't need to bother with web app anymore. Okay, so now we have it here and you have the index.html. So let's actually visit the website. Uh, so if you're running on uh, XAMP, you can connect to your website via localhost. Uh, so localhost, and if you're using, uh, if you don't have port 80, like we checked before, if you're using like port 81 or something, just put a colon and then the port number. So just say it's 81, you put 81. Uh, but if it's 80, you can, you can put the port, but it's not necessary since it's the default one. So the web browser, in this case Google Chrome, knows that the default port is 80, so it's not going, it's going to go to 80 by default if you don't put it. And then just do slash and then put the folder name that you call it. So we call it space game. And there you go. We actually have the game running here in HTML. Uh, so you can play it just like you would with the keyboard as well and everything. And it works great. So you can actually put this on your website or something uh, to show off like, hey, look, guys, I made this game. And people can check it out uh, online without having to download it, which is kind of nice. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have any friends uh, who think that this video would be interesting to watch, uh, like that they need to learn how to deploy the game onto their website, then please share it with them. It helps a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.